everybody and welcome to the Art History Your Story quiz. Now, how the quiz is going to happen, probably like a lot of other quizzes, is I've got 20 questions, I'll read out the questions, and at the end of it, I'll give you the answers. Let's begin. Question 1. During the Korean War, 100,000 British servicemen served in the war. But how many of that number were from here, in Scotland? Question 2. Which major event that attracted over 3.5 million people um, was hosted in Sockton Park in Edinburgh. Question number three. Halley Hill is a stone circle on the outskirts of Edinburgh. But where exactly is it? Question number four. Now, as some of you will be aware, John Lennon had uh, family connections to the city of Edinburgh. And whenever he came to Edinburgh, he stayed with those family members. But whereabouts in Edinburgh did he stay with them? Number five. Robert Burns, the nation's bard, now, when he came to Edinburgh, he stayed at Lady Stairs Close, and later on in life, he moved to Dumfries. But where exactly was Robert Burns born? Question number six. The Craig and Tinney marbles are a 30-foot high mausoleum, which feature marble reliefs. Now, the mausoleum is the last resting place for whom? Number seven. As you walk down the Royal Mile, you'll notice that there's a pub and this pub is dedicated to a member of Edinburgh Society. Now this gentleman in question, he was a cabinet maker, he was also a member of the town council. Now, by night, he would turn his hand to crime. See, not all good. And he would break into people's houses to pay for his lavish lifestyle and his gambling debts. He was later hung on the 1st of October, 1788. But what is this gentleman's name? Question number eight. Government and Cove is an intriguing site. It's based on the outskirts of Edinburgh in a former mining village. Now, the site itself comprises a number of hand-carved chambers and tunnels. There's many theories and speculations about why the site was made, constructed, call it what you will. Now, what are some of the theories? Question number nine. The Dunmore Pineapple. It's often dubbed one of the most strangest buildings in the whole of Scotland. The pineapple itself was constructed by the 4th Earl of Dunmore. Now, pineapples are a sign of affluence, a sign of hospitality. But where exactly is the Dunmore pineapple? Question number 10. Now, if any of you have been to Queen's Ferry, you've probably marvelled at the 4th Rail Bridge, or the bridge as it's called. And you probably think that the 4th Crossing and the 4th Road Bridge are pretty nice too. But, when was the Queen's Ferry established, and by whom? Number 11. Edinburgh's Wild West Village, or Western Village, was set up to entice people to come and buy furniture from the Great American Outdoors. It was built by some set designers who had worked at Euro Disney, but where exactly is Edinburgh's Western Village? Question number 12. Now, in Edinburgh's Princess Street Gardens, there's a statue of a bear. Now, this bear, Wojtek, in Polish I believe that means the Happy Warrior. Now, he fought in the Polish army during the Second World War. He even reached the rank of corporal. Now, when he retired from the army, where did he spend his retirement? Question 13. Now, this is all about Edinburgh's hidden castles, a video that I put out. But, you might get it even if you've not seen the video. Now, in that video... I mentioned five Edinburgh castles that are hidden in plain sight. Can you name them? Question number 14. The Camel Estate is, is a popular destination for dog walkers, picnickers, and people taking exercise or cycle. Now, it used to be a splendid country estate, but who was the last resident of this estate? Question number 15. What was the infamous date that King Philip of France gave the orders to arrest all Knights Templars in the land, which subsequently resulted in their downfall, and, potentially, some of them fleeing and coming to here in Scotland? Question number 16. After a number of devastating fires, it was decided that Edinburgh would establish the world's first municipal fire brigade, but who was the first master of fire? Question number 17. The Covenanters were a prominent military force, believing that they were fighting for their right to practice their religion the way that they saw fit. 
Now, after the defeat at the Battle of Broth Bothwell Brig, where were the remaining Covenanters taken and held captive? Question number 18. Roslyn Chapel is a spectacular building. It's been made famous, or made more famous, by um, the publishing of Dan Brown's book, The Da Vinci Code. Now, it has connections to the Knights Templar and potentially Freemasonry. But what treasures could be held within Roslyn Chapel? Question number 19. Denino Den in Fife is a mystical site, but who is thought to have practiced their religious rituals here? Question 20. Bangower Village Hospital has had many uses over the years. It was initially established as the Edinburgh Asylum, and during the two world wars, it was used as the Edinburgh War Hospital. Now, one of the reasons for this was because it had its own trade station, but what other amenities did Bangower have that made it self-sufficient? Now, we're at the end of the quiz, and now for the most important part, the answers. So how have you all done? Question one. How many Scots fought in the Korean War? The answer is 10,000. Question two. The event in question is the 1908 Scottish National Exhibition. Question number three. Hully Hull is located in the town of Newbridge. But for, I would also have accepted Newbridge Roundabout, on the outskirts of Edinburgh, beside the airport. I would have accepted them. So fair play to you. Question number four. John Lennon stayed at Ormadel Terrace and Bryce Avenue. I would have also accepted Curry generally. Now, Robert Burns was born on the 25th of January in 1759 in Alloway. Almost got that date wrong, but hey-ho. Um, question number six. The Craig and Tinney marbles are the last rest in place for the eccentric William Henry Miller. Question number seven. The pub in question is named after Deacon Brodie. Question number eight. Kilmer and Cove. Now there's many theories that surround Kilmer and Cove, but some of the potential theories are that it was a druidic ritualistic site it's a, a Freemason's Lodge. Uh, it's the hiding place for the Knights Templar or the Covenanters. And there's another theory that it could have just been set up as a drinking den. But I think that's a long way to go to have a pint on a Sunday. But those are the answers. Question number nine. The Dunmore Pineapple is near Earth. Well, it's in Earth near Falkirk. Question ten. So who set up the Queen's, Queen's Ferry Crossing? Queen Margaret set up the crossing in the 11th century to aid pilgrims travelling to St Andrews. Question number 11. Edinburgh's Wild West Village, or Western Village, is in Morningside. Question number 12. Wojtek, the happy warrior, the bear that fought in the Polish army, retired to Edinburgh Zoo. Question number 13. Now, the castles in question are Liberton Tower, Craig Miller, Craig Locker, Murchison, Boriston, and bonus points if you've got the Stenhouse Mansion as well. Question number 14. The last resident of the Camo Estate was Percival Maitland Tennant. The date, this is question number 15, the infamous date was Friday the 13th of October 1307. Question number 16, which is all about the first municipal fire brigade. And the master of fire was James Braidwood. Question number 17. The Covenanters were held prisoner at the Covenanters prison, funnily enough, in Greyfriars Kirkyard. It's also interesting to note that this is where the National Covenant was signed. Question number 18. What treasures could be held within Rosalind Chapel? Well, some of the theories are that it's the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant. And I'm sure there's other ones, but those are the main two. Question number 19. Danino in Fife is um, the people that were thought to have worshipped there were the Druids. Question number 20. Bangower Village Hospital had some amenities and these amenities were, it had its own fishery, farm, dairy, it uh, also had its own power station, and as I mentioned earlier, it had its own train station. 
So those are answers. Let me know how you did in the comments below. Um, and don't, be, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, it's been great having you here. Thank you very much for supporting the show for the last year. Um, I've been loving making the videos for you and I hope you've been enjoying them. So see you next time.